Hello everyone, I'm Abhishek and a team of scientists at the University of Colorado have developed a way to replace the weakest link in building insulation, the windows. Now the windows can be made as good an insulator as a solid wall and yet be more transparent than glass. This is what it looks like when a truly transparent aerogel is placed in front of a transparent window. So what is an aerogel and how this new aerogel is so transparent that it can easily be deployed in the windows without compromising with the transparency and yet have exceptional insulating properties. And above all, why does it even matter? Aerogels are a class of synthetic porous ultralight materials derived from a gel in which the liquid component for the gel has been replaced with a gas without significant collapse of the gel structure. So the result is a solid with extremely low thermal conductivity and density. A new study found that replacing the air in double glazed windows with a new transparent aerogel that is made of wood could make them airtight as walls. If true, this could significantly impact the construction and energy efficiency industries. Yes, the new aerogel called as a silenized cellulose aerogels is made from wood pulp derived from cellulose nanofibers and they could be made for cheap on large scale and could be used to retrofit existing windows. Since most homeowners prefer to have windows that allows them to see outside, heat loss is inevitable. Over the past several decades, heat loss from windows has been improved by adding a second pane of glass. The two panes are typically separated by a gap of insulating air. Still such windows do not provide nearly the same degree of insulation as insulated walls. Buildings consume around 40% of the world's energy. Most of that is used for heating, cooling and ventilation. Windows and skylights, by allowing heat to enter or escape out of a building, leads to much of this heating and cooling being wasted. Single-pane windows, which are still common, are especially energy inefficient. According to one estimate, climate control systems in buildings account for 14% of overall energy consumption in US and about 25% of that goes to waste through window glass in cold weather. Therefore, windows are often considered the weakest link when saving energy in a building is concerned. One way through which windows can be made better insulators is by increasing the air layer's width between the panes of glass. However, gap thickness wider than 1.5 cm hurts the insulation effect because it makes it easier for convection currents to move, deteriorating the performance through convection-based heat transfer. Lower this gap with vacuum in between glass sheets and you face the problem of seal integrity and high costs. Aerogels, due to the exceptional thermal insulating property, has been used in applications ranging from pipe insulation to even Mars rover. It has been a highly sought after material to replace gas or air in between glass panes as they are capable of outperforming even still air and other gas fillers as efficient thermal barriers. The reason to compare with still air is the fact that when the air is still, it cannot transfer heat through convection as convection requires the air to move. The way heat can be transferred in still air is through conduction but air has a poor thermal conductivity of about 0.026 to 0.067 watt per meter kelvin between 300 and 900 kelvin that makes it a very good insulator. Most aerogels exhibit somewhere between 90 to 99.8% porosity. That is, their porous solid network contains air pockets with the air pockets taking up the majority of space within the material. With so many extraordinary properties, there is still a weak side of aerogel that has restricted it from becoming a popular choice for insulating windows for homes and other spaces. And that is, these aerogels are typically mechanically fragile and even more importantly, they strongly scatter light. Due to this scattering of light, things look blurry and thus they are not a great fit for use in windows. Manufacturing aerogels with high transparency and mechanical robustness at scale has remained a challenge. Usually, we have to compromise the transparency when we need better insulation. Achieving simultaneously high transparency and a high degree of thermal insulation of glazing, which is definitely the ideal choice, remains a challenge. To solve this problem, even Smaliuk and his colleagues at the University of Colorado soaked nanofibers of cellulose extracted from wood in water. Next, the wood nanofibers were removed and were then dunked in an ethanol solution. Once saturated, the nanofibers were heated in a pressurized oven to force the ethanol pockets to replace with air. Next, the nanofibers, which were transparent, were coated with water repellent silicon compound to the surface to prevent condensation when situated between panes of glass. To test the materials, the researchers placed the wood aerogel film on the inside of a single pane window glass. 
and put a 3mm thick slab in the gap between two panes of a modern window. They place these test panels in the openings of hot and cold boxes with inside temperatures of 40 degree and minus 20 degree Celsius, mimicking summer and winter temperatures. What they found was quite promising. The wood aerogel containing windows more efficiently blocked heat flow between the inside and outside of the boxes. A 2.5 cm thick layer can make the double pane windows as insulating as a wall. In addition to making the windows more insulating, these aerogels also increase their resistance to condensation, which is the window's ability to resist condensation of water on its surface at low temperatures. These are the infrared thermal imaging photos of different types of window arrangements mounted in the openings of hot and cold boxes. As evident from the image, the new salinized cellulose aerogel or simply wood aerogel based double pane window glass units insulate far better than simple double pane glass units under both the conditions. Also, retrofit, which is a single pane glass fitted with a wood aerogel film, is at par or better than double pane glass units. The secret to this ability of the wood based aerogel lies inside its nanoscale structure, which is such that the air molecules collide more often with the cellulose network than with each other greatly reducing the thermal conduction compared to that of bulk air. Whereas the poor in thermal contacts between fibers of the cellulose network minimize the thermal conduction through the solid component which is just 1% by volume. Not just this, these wood-based aerogels also obstruct transmission of thermal range radiation so the radiative heat transfer is also reduced. This is the graph that shows how thermal conductivity of aerogel varies with temperature at different porosities. A high porosity aerogel has a higher thermal conductivity at the same temperature but the good thing is it's still at par or lower than air. In addition, the new wood based aerogel has a visible range light transmittivity of 97 to 99% which is much higher than that of a single clear glass having 92%. It has a haze factor of less than 1%. Now haze indicates the percentage of the perpendicular incoming light that deflects from the straight line at an angle of more than 2.5 degrees. So in simple terms, it means that if the light passes through a material such as glass and if suppose 60% of this direct light is deflected, this is expressed as a haze percentage of 60%. So haze of less than 1% is an extraordinary feat, especially when the material is also a very good heat insulator and at the same time environmentally sustainable. This is the image of 1.5 mm thick wood aerogel with 99.2% porosity adhered to an optically clear plastic film. And this is that of the double pane insulating glass unit with a coating on one glass pane and 3mm thick aerogel film attached to the surface of the other glass pane. Note that the slight colouring is due to the coated glass used in these insulating glass units. Since single pane windows still constitute 40% of all windows, this aerogel can be fitted in the windows of pre-existing buildings as retrofits where multi-pane glass units are often structurally incompatible with the old design. This can significantly prevent energy loss of existing buildings. Cost and scale-up are the other two critical challenges for widely deploying conventional aerogels made from silica. But for this new aerogel, raw material cost should be minimal as the cellulose nanofibers can be derived from waste wood pulp or from food. The team estimates the raw material to cost about $1 per square foot. This transparent wood could be the future of windows and could have significant contribution in making buildings more sustainable and energy efficient. To know more, you may refer the paper, link to which I have mentioned in the description of this video. Heat loss and gain affect the energy efficiency, but heat battery that stores virtually unlimited energy as heat can also power industry sustainably. Click this video to know more. And thanks for watching.